Now that you got the words of love add, added to the grape jelly, you may want to go and slide this over to the side. And that's okay. We need to go put this back in the fridge right where you found it. He wants to be back at home. And that's why you place him right here. And we'll put him over there. Alright, now let's get back to our workstation. Ugh. I think I know what I'm going to do today. Oh, hello. So, like, it's just not a classical morning, even though it's at like 5 o'clock in the day. But I'm ready to get on this project. So, it's time to make the perfect cup of coffee. And you're going to need a lot of essential ingredients. So, you may want to... Oh, mints. Mm, of course I want a mint. Okay. So, on top of that, we're going to need a lot of ingredients. Ah, beautiful. So, just like my love for peppermints, we have to bring the essentials. Peppermint mocha. Um, it's an international delight. And uh, as you can tell, it's very important, delighted in the season. You can only get it around the winter time. Uh, make sure that you have that though, or you're never going to be able to make the perfect cup of coffee. The second most important coffee is um, coffee creamer is our Salty Boy, also known as Sarti Caramel Mocha. Uh, also an international delight. Everyone loves our uh, very fresh creamer. You gotta admit, it looks pretty good. Now time to meet Mr. Baby Creamer, um, also known as Carmel Machino. He's very macho creamer. Make sure that you give him a lot of hugs. He's the smallest of the creamers. Um, he's also a very international delight. Here's Choco Boy, Choco Boy Hazelnut. He's pretty lit. Uh, I do have to say he's going to be an essential for our coffee delight. So Uncle Macchiato doesn't seem to be here, and also when I went to go and reach for my uh, peppermints, they don't seem to be here. So this is kind of a urgent situation. We're gonna have to find this. Um, I might even have to stop the video for this, but I'm gonna rush back real quick and see if I can find anything. It's starting to bother me, but my peppermints. See, so left a peppermint trail. All right, so there's one, and two. Should probably go and pick all these up. Yeah, that's one. Here it is. You fiend. I knew it was you all along. It's Uncle Caramel Macchiato. I mean, why'd you have to do this to me? I don't even understand. You stole the peppermints too? Ugh. This is... I'm pretty sure I missed every single one of those. Anyways, you're coming with me, Mister. I don't even care. We're gonna go ahead and eat some coffee delight. We're gonna have a great coffee. This is going to be the coffee. Uncle Caramel Macchiato. Mm -hmm. Now that I have my peppermint and all my peppermints back, I feel like a king. But you know what makes me feel more like a king? Getting my coffee. So now let's start the coffee process. Now, you might know the traditional way of doing things and making your own coffee, but I think we're going to take it to the next level today. And if everyone follows my instructions just as instructed, we shouldn't have any problems. So the first thing you're going to have to do is select the right mug, and I believe this is the right choice because I really don't do mornings. Now that you have your mug, make sure that you have all the essential ingredients. Make sure you have your creamers on the side as well. Let's go ahead and throw in a peppermint for good luck. Oh, I missed. That's better. Also, because we want to have healthy choices, let's go ahead and take an apple. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw this apple right in there. It should fit in just right with the peppermint. So, you might be thinking what I'm thinking. Putting macaroni and cheese in coffee. Well, I was thinking the same exact thing. But what would be the problem if we put the box in there? So, I've decided that since macaroni and cheese is also an essential meal. We're just going to try to fit that in there too. Make sure that it goes in right in the I don't do morning. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and take your mug. Make sure that you carefully bring it over to the microwave. Set it right in there. 
we have a little bit of a problem. So if it doesn't make an approach where you put it in um, right away, make sure that you go ahead and put it at an angle. That should fit right in there. All right, there we go. Perfect. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and set it for two minutes and you should be good. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is cast this little spell. I saw this in a YouTube video once. It's gonna be really simple. All right, let's see if it works. Spectro, but perfect. Coffeeus. All right, go. Pressed. Wow, it worked. So as you can see, the time has ended, so let's go ahead and take a look at things. All right, so don't be surprised if your coffee cup has changed in any way, shape, or form. Sometimes it will become a butterfly. Um, but it just so happens that we have a, a nice portrait of a bunch of seagulls on a bright summer day. The complete opposite of a terrible morning. So while I go ahead and transport this cup of coffee, we need to realize how coffee is also another important aspect to life. It shows the deepest, darkest moments of our life. Ah, ah, ah. A wonderful day. Ugh, ugh. Never again, Monday. I'm never gonna do it again. Ugh. So just remember, when you look at a cup of coffee, you're drinking your life away. But on a side note, let's go ahead and add our creamer and our special ingredients. Mmm, tons of peppermint. We're gonna definitely bring this peppermint with us. It's very essential that you drop your peppermints on the side. So along with our friend peppermints, we're actually gonna grab our peppermint mocha. Make sure that you get that peppermint mocha. Just pop it right off. Yep, there you go. Right. Then you're gonna pour it very, very slowly to the thing. Just like that, yep. All right, and then you're gonna pop it back off. There we go. Now, on a side note, we have our boy Salty Boy here, and it seems he's having a little bit of a leak. That happens from Salty Boy from time to time. Sometimes he gets a little too salty. So let's go ahead and pop that up, and let's get us some salty goodness. There we go. Now make sure that you can tell the difference between the cream. We're going to see how that goes. Now let's go ahead and pop that back on and let's go. Now, here's the problem. Little Macchiato and we have Big Boy Macchiato. Probably going to do Little Macchiato. Alright, here we go. Oh no, he's got the silver plate of death. Now the problem with the silver plate of death is that obviously he's not mature enough. I thought Mr. Macchiato has been here for at least two years in the fridge, so we're going to have to go ahead and put him back, make sure that he stays in there. Sorry, little Macchiato. We'll see you next year. Now, here's Big Boy Macchiato, so we're going to go ahead and put Big Boy Macchiato right over here. Pop that off, and then we're going to also put in his little bit of goodness. Nice, nice. We only need a little bit of a drop. He's too macho for this. Finally, we have the Chaco Hazelotto. And we're going to talk to that, and we need to make sure that we give him a, at least some sort of appreciation. At least pat him on the head a few times. Give him a little bit of a rub. It's just like your pet at home. Make sure that you also, like the others, pour that wonderful goodness. Alright. Let's get this over with. Now, the most important part is to add your peppermint. So let's go ahead and grab a peppermint just like this. And then I one-handedly just take that peppermint off and just plop it right in there. Now it's time to enjoy your wonderful goodness. This is called the perfect coffee. Make sure that you taste your perfect coffee just as so. Ah, it's wonderful. Now make sure to enjoy your coffee in any way, shape, or form. And just remember, your coffee is your best friend. Now, I'm two minutes into drinking my coffee and I notice there's way too much creamer and I'm starting to die inside. Um, if you start to have stomach issues after watching this video and you've recreated my experiment, uh, that's probably a good sign. Um, that's the results I was looking for and that's how you love to start off your Monday mornings.